Greetings to everyone. In this video, we are going to be looking at the solution of exercise number one in the competitive entrance examination into the National Advanced School of Engineering Yaoundé in the 2021 exam session that is Polytechnic Yaoundé. Okay, the question reads Given the sequence UN defined by that product for theta in the interval 0 to pi on 2, here is question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4, and question 5. So let's dive directly to the solution of these problems. Solution question 1. Study the variation of the sequence UN. Now, the variation of the sequence is simply to study the variation. All we need to do is simply to say if the sequence is increasing or the sequence is decreasing or strictly increasing or strictly decreasing so that is what we are supposed to do now if a sequence is increasing let's say the sequence un is increasing it means that un plus one minus un will be always positive or zero that is for increasing but if it is strictly increasing then it's it then the, the difference that is un plus one minus un is strictly greater than zero the reverse goes for decreasing so let's compute un plus one and we do the difference with un and see what we get so un being given us that product that is cosine of theta times the cosine of 2 theta and so on right up to the cosine of theta on 2 to the n it means un plus 1 simply means that i will do this product but i am going to end at the nth plus 1 term which is cosine of theta on 2 raised to the power n plus 1 so if we look at this very well we are going to see that the product from cosine of theta right up to the cosine of 2 of theta on 2 to the n is simply the nth term and we we need to multiply it also with the n plus one term so we get the expression of un plus one so what is now the difference between un plus one and un un plus one minus un is simply this is our un plus one and this is our un doing that we can factor out un and we get un into the cosine of theta on two to the n plus one minus one now we need to determine the sign of this expression here by so doing, we are going to know if this is positive, negative, or zero at some point, and then we can conclude on its variation. So if I set alpha to be theta on 2 to the n plus 1, we know the cosine of any angle is always less than or equal to 1. That's the maximum value of the cosine of any angle is 1. So the cosine of any angle is always less than 1, and it has a maximum value at 1 itself provided the you know for the cosine of an angle to be equal to one then that angle should be um an even multiple of pi all right so since the cosine of alpha is less than or equal to one subtracting one on both sides we have the cosine of alpha minus one to be less than or equal to zero so for every theta for every theta in this interval we are going to determine what un stands for all right so since the cosine of alpha our alpha is theta on 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to zero it simply means it is negative all right so theta being in this interval 0 to pi on 2 pi on 2 is excluded from the interval the cosine of theta is strictly greater than zero we know the graph of the cosine of theta in the interval 0 to pi on 2 it all oh, it lies above the x-axis so the cosine of theta on 2 and so on right up to the cosine of theta on 2 to the n will always be greater than 0 so this means that my un which is the product of all positive numbers will be strictly positive as well because the cosine of theta being greater than 0 the cosine of theta on 2 the same thing right up to the cosine of theta on 2 to the n all are positive so their product will also give me a positive number and their product is un so by so doing it means un plus one minus un will be less than or equal to zero why because this 
here is less than or equal to zero and un is positive so we have a positive number multiplied by a negative number resulting to a negative number we have equal to zero here because of this condition the cosine of alpha is less than or equal to one so we can conclude that the sequence un is decreasing if it was strictly less than zero we are going to say it is monotonic decreasing or strictly decreasing but it is less than or equal to zero it simply means it is decreasing okay so the variation of studying the variation is all what we have done and we have a conclusion which says the sequence un is decreasing the second part of the equation is asking us to show this for all x in the interval 0 to pi on 2 and it is 0 0.5 mark so let's begin with what sine 2x is is the same as sine of x plus x and from the compound identity we have um sine of x plus x to be the sine of x the cosine of x plus the cosine of x the sine of x so it means the sine of 2x is simply this and this are the same so we have 2 the sine of x the cosine of x now we are finding the cosine of x therefore means the cosine of x is simply the sine of 2x divided by 2 the sine of x that's basic trigonometry and you're done with proof let's proceed to the next question deduce sorry hence deduce that un is equal to this <clears throat> now this was the most the the like the most difficult not too difficult but trickish where i believe students will actually find difficulties if they don't follow keenly okay now we have our un to be cosine of theta this product right up to the cosine of of theta on 2 to the n we can write it as a product here is a product sign so i am multiplying cosines of theta on 2 raised to the power k here beginning from zero because when k is zero i get i get my first term which is the cosine of theta when k is one i get the second term right up to when k is n i get the nth term so by so doing we have the cosine of x to be equal to this um expression that we previously proved so if i set x to be equal to theta on two raised to the power k because remember i have un but to have un I, I was simply what i was simply multiplying this so if i replace x here with theta on 2 to the k and then i apply my product symbol on both sides i will get my un directly so the cosine of 2 of theta on 2 to the k will be simply i replace x with theta on 2 to the k so in this case i will have 2 times theta on 2 to the k divided by 2 the sine of theta on 2 to the power k so if i apply the product sign on both sides multiplying from 0 to n on the left hand side i am going to have this and on the right hand side i am going to have this but look at what i have done here here is theta on 2 to the k times 2 but i can write 2 as 1 divided by half or 1 divided by 2 to the negative 1 so i will get a denominator so 2 to the k times 2 to the negative 1 will simply be 2 to the k minus 1. That's why I have this expression. So by so doing, this guy here is simply my un. So it is equal to this. Now this is very, very complicated to handle. So we can try to replace or we can try to find the terms and we see what actually happens. Because looking at it, you don't have any fixed answer in your mind. All right, so if I fit k equal to 0, my first term is going to be the sine of theta on 2 to the k um, divided by 2 the sine of, of theta. So fitting k equal to 0, two to the, um, theta on 2 to the negative 1, because here you have 2 to the negative 1, but we know 1 over 2 to the negative 1 is 2, so it reverses and we have the sine of 2 theta in the denominator we have 2 the sine of theta because 2 to the power 0 is going to give us 1 now when we fit k equal to 1 remember it's a product that's why you see the multiplication sign 
for k equal to 1 our denominator here will give us 0 and we have 2 to the 0 which is 1 so we are just left with sine theta the denominator here will give us 2 the sine of theta on 2 to the power 1 which is this keep on fitting the terms and so on and let's fit um, k equal to n that's the final term for k equal to n our denominator is going to give us for this we have the sine of theta on 2 to the n minus 1 divided by 2 the sine of theta on 2 to the n now we can identify this as a telescopic product meaning we can see how terms are cancelling sine theta deals with sine theta sine theta on 2 deals with sine theta on 2 sine theta on 2 squared we also deal with sine theta on 2 squared somewhere inside here so there will be a certain term here that is going to deal with this so since it is telescopic generally we are left with the first and the last term so by so doing we are going to be left with the sine of 2 theta divided by 2 divided by the sine of theta on 2 to the n and since we were multiplying all the tools remain intact so let's just see half because um, let's consider the full fraction not just the denominator so we have the halves remain intact so we have half times half times half right up to this guy here but how many of them are there they are simply n plus one of them because we began from zero and we are ending at n so we have n plus one terms so that is it half times half times half times half n plus one times we know the the um the addition rule of indices so half times half will be half to the one plus one times half will be half to the one plus one plus one and so on so we have half to the one plus one plus one plus one n plus one times so we can say un is equal to this times half to now we are summing from k equal to one or either from k equal to zero or from k equal to one so either it's sum from k equal to 1 to n plus 1 or from k equal to 0 to n of 1. Simply, we are going to get un to be this times, this is just going to give us n plus 1 because I am adding 1 n plus 1 times. So definitely I get n plus 1. So we can conclude that our un is simply 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 times the sine of 2 theta on the sine of theta on 2 to the n which was what was required to prove and it healed it worth one mark so i am going to end here for the video for those who are preparing for national um competitive entrance examinations into the various professional schools be it engineering or medicine we have a secret for you you can prepare on the tefa afric platform Simply go to Google and you type out www.tefafric.com. You create an you create an account and you begin studying. Believe me, it is very effective. We have very good results. Last year we had a 60% success. That is, we sent in four different students into Polytechnic. So we had three students in um polytechnic yaoundé and one student in polytechnic douala all anglophones that left the gc and prepare with us so our content is very unique so that is it if you want to prepare for your concours whether medicine or engineering polytechnic public works and so on and so forth get to the tefa platform and begin studying so if you love the video endeavor to like comment on the video if you face difficulties also comment your difficulties share the video to your friends invite them to the channel to subscribe and turn on all your post notifications so that whenever we upload a video you'll be one of the first persons to view so thank you very much for your time and see you later